Okay. Welcome back to Water Meter again. It's gonna be a running theme in a lot of uh, videos. Oh, do I actually get to be on a horsey? Whoa, Ooh, that horse! Oh, my nose itchy. You and Tommy cross anything when you was out? Just the few we saw from the ridge. <laughs> you? Oh, I know. <laughs> two runners in a house. Jesse tells me you're handling your own quite well on the group patrol. He's even recommending you for paired patrols. So well, I think you're still a bit young for it. I'm a better shot than almost all of them. And I have more experience than most of the new recruits who... If you think you're ready, I trust you. Okay. Thanks. You just do me a favor and start with the shorter routes for now. You know, see how you handle them. All right. Isn't that you nice? those, uh, Savage Starlight comic book that you're into? Yeah. Tommy and I found some when we were moving through that school the other day. Did you like them? Oh, you know what? Not really my cup of tea, but... Dr. Daniela Starr, I mean, she's pretty... She's a savage. Well, what she does to Captain Ryan in that death match? Woo. Yeah. I mean, he definitely deserved it, but... That was a nice twist on their escape. <laughs> You're funny. Music store's up that way. We're gonna have to leave the horses here. Yeah. Sounds good. Who's that in next? They're bonding. What am I looking at? Is that KO? Basically. <laughs> yeah. It turns out it's the exact replica. You know the KO dudes are doing the uh, Elvis Presley uh, tribute band they do? And I'm just kind of like... I don't know if you should be doing that, but... <laughs> like, during a fucking pandemic, you know? Yeah. Okay, so... now what? Well, if you're up for it, we can try cutting But, whatever. I guess they want a gig. Can't stop them. A gig is a gig? And I mean... Is a gig is a gig, Taylor. And I mean, you know... It's not like anybody's gonna enforce the rules on that whole deal, but whatever. Yeah, just don't go. I'm not, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going. That's the best choice. Oh, I, I wasn't planning on going. I can't go anyway because if they have one this Wednesday, one on Friday. I work both days. And then the next one's next Friday, and I'll probably be working then too. So, fuck it. Even if I wanted to go, I can't. Well, it's worth a shot. Careful, yeah. I'm a slug. I am the slipperiest slug in the slip slug and slube. What about you, Taylor? Are you the slipperiest oh, slug okay. in the slip slob and slube? What? Are you the slipperiest slug in the slip slob and slube? No. Uh, looking. Oh. Okay, well, one day. Well, hello. Howdy. You impressed? No. Nope. You're just too skinny. You need to eat more. <laughs> You're welcome. It's true, she is very skinny. But then, uh, it's hard to keep weight on in a situation like this. Yeah, right. Just eat all the bodies. <laughs> just go straight cannibal. Yeah. I mean, yeah, nothing wrong David with that. David did. Look how it turned out for him. This place is getting me He died. Creeps. <laughs> I think I see a way through, but we got a Got a machete to the face. Uh, do I have to? It's just us. What if we run into someone? Okay, fine. Come on, Ellie. This is how America became what it is now. Because people like you wouldn't wear a mask. <laughs> Damn, this game was so ahead of its time. <laughs> yeah. How ironic that it comes out during a pandemic. You know what the funny thing is, is this game is supposed to be out in like April or May or something. And then they postponed it again. Hmm? This game is supposed to be out, I think, 
Maybe even earlier than that. I think it might have been supposed to have been out in like March or something. Yeah. I think, and then like towards the end of March, they pushed it back again because they're like, yeah, we're not going to be able to ship it because of the pandemic. And also this will give us more time to polish. polish. Which, I mean, it's very polished. Yeah. So it's not a lie. That was just, you know, their excuse to fucking do some more uh, crunch time with the employees so that way everybody hates their lives. Yeah, but at least they're going to get paid during the pandemic. Yeah, right. There is a slight silver lining to that. And it's funny, too, because you go online and see and, like, people are like, you know, there's been headlines of, like, this game was, like, one of the fastest selling games, like, probably the best selling game for the PlayStation, you know, or whatever. And now that the sales have kind of tapered off a little bit because all the reviews and all the criticisms come out. <laughs> so now people are like, eh. Like, people who probably haven't even fucking bought it are talking shit on the game. <laughs> oh, yeah. People were talking shit it. on it day one. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure many people hadn't beaten or even close to beating it. Yeah. They probably got up to Joel's death and they're like, Did <laughs> <laughs> And they read all over the place. And start, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a, I don't know. I feel like anybody who really had that kind of reaction to it, like they didn't even, didn't even give it a fucking chance, you know. I don't know. As if as if I haven't done that type of shit with games too, but I don't know. I just find it. I always find it funny when people like are so quick to shit on a game like this, and it's like I don't know, man. I feel like objectively, you can't call this game bad. Yeah, no. I would say this is a good game. Like objectively, it's a good game. <laughs> Because, like, the amount of effort and detail that goes into every single environment in the game and every single animation, all the sound design is fucking incredible. Yeah. Voice acting is really good. Except for Owen. He's the only one I don't like. Owen? Which one was Owen? He's the guy that's with Abby. You see him a little bit more later. Oh, okay. Was he, like, too quiet, too loud? No, it's just his voice actor just doesn't fit with, like, the rest of the game. Like, he just, I don't know. Like, you kind of see, like, he's just got this weird, awkward delivery. And I don't know if that's because, like, that's his character. I don't think it is. But Maybe he's just an awkward dude. Like, he kind of is. Like, he's kind of like this goofy, like, kind of, like, awkward guy, sort of. But, like, his voice actor just doesn't, I don't know, doesn't really stand up with everybody else who's in the cast. But whatever, that's just my personal opinion. Maybe he was, he has someone, like, someone knows him. And that's why. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I could do a better job. Hell no, but <laughs> he just doesn't really fit with everything, in my opinion. Everybody just, like, I don't know. They wanted to just see, like, adventures of Joel and Ellie, and then when they didn't get that, they were just like, Oh, this game fucking sucks! My name is PewDiePie. I think they waste... The Joel's a waste of a character. And then a lot of people are like, oh, it's too depressing for too long. And it's like, well, what did you fucking expect? <laughs> and the first game was no fucking trip full of rainbows and shit. <laughs> first game was pretty depressing, too. Yeah. It was just a little more lighthearted at times. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, well, oh. Talk about lighthearted. Lighthearted. <laughs> Come on, Joel. You were supposed to be my savior. Time paradox. <laughs> created a time paradox. Joel, you created a time paradox. You're supposed to save me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Is it? Seems fine to me. I don't even hear it. <laughs> come on, come on! The Better one! 
you motherfucker! The, the mic does pick it up, but I do enough audio processing on it to cut it out. It drives me nuts. Coconuts? Joel, you just let this motherfucker Coconuts. get past you? Why'd you let that guy get past you? He touched me, Joel. I'm gonna call rape. Rape? Yeah. Alright. He's gonna get arrested. Sounds like a marching army. Is there an army up there, too? No, it's just... You put this, uh... What the fuck? I thought you turned fuck? that shit off. Thought you... You're so unprofessional. Sorry. <laughs> this isn't a professional recording space, I'm sorry. You got it. <laughs> yeah, you got it, Joel. I like how like crazy overpowered they make Joel because it's kind of like a mirror of like the first game, you know? Joel. Where he just murders fucking everything. Yeah. Well, I think that's good. Can, can you not? I have to dodge, man. I'm trying. I was stuck on the couch though. Yeah. How much ammo do you have, Joel? Enough. Got it covered. Oh, you hit that fucking lamp, dude. That we could have used that. Shoot him. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Joel. <laughs> it was your time. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh -oh. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Not you. Hold, hold on. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Oops, I missed you. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I thought I was a goner, Joel. I think we did it. I think you did it, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you say we give up on those strings for today? I just had a better myself. But I want those strings. I guess she's got the blood spatter all over her. Maybe that's cool. However, uh, I don't know if they have a specific credit for the blood spatter research team, but... But they did They did job. a fucking awesome job. <laughs> Alright, Joel. Push me away. This arguably has like some of the best gore I've ever seen in a video game, to be honest. Yeah, it is very nice. Like, Gears of War was pretty cool when that one came out because it was just so, like... It was brutal. just blood, though. Yeah, brutal. But I mean, like the dismemberment and people exploding oh, yeah. and shit. Like if you went up and shotgun the dude, like it would get fucking like blown in half, pretty much. Same with like the chainsaw and all that. But like I don't know, something in this game, like there's just not quite to the same extent as that. Like it is. Like you can blow people in half and shit. But like it just uh, in Gears of War, it was it didn't feel correct. Oh yeah, it was like comically. Like, yeah, it was comical. Yeah. Oh, ouch! I like his oh. head. Man, that's gross. His head is fucking dope, though. Yeah, the bloaters in this game are no joke. Ooh, look at all the chunks on the ground. That's fucking cool. Man. Okay, <laughs> see? He goes through walls and shit. Oh, hey, bud. <laughs> he, like, rips pieces off of himself to throw at you. <laughs> yeah, these guys. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh no! 
shake out our fucking chest cave. They, <laughs> they make it more like a mini boss in this kind of in this game. Like it's actually pretty sweet. I like the treatment they gave them. Laptop is broken. That's clearly like a Neil Brain laptop, you know. Oh, and oh. <laughs> oh, my fucking eardrum! Oh shit! Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> See, he's like, he charges at you. He's like a fucking bull now, dude. It's fucking awesome. I like the sound, too, of it screaming. It's so cool. Let me just rip off a love handle and throw it at you. <laughs> oh, and you can't see it through the spores. It's so fucking cool. Fucking water meter. Shut up. Kickflip on that fucking thing. Oh, the fucking add ons are gonna kill you. Joe, 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 Thanks, Joel. Where's my mask? Someone's gonna know that I have my mask off. Sure. But we fucking did it. You good? You know, than being really old, ain't nothing so not a staple shake off. I wanna get out of here. Me too. All right, it was, uh, it was fun. I like that. It was uh, a good bloat. I think it's <laughs> it's a good bloat. <laughs> I think I think it's fucking cool. Because it's different from the first game. Like the first ones, there's kind of like these big bumbling, like you know, yeah, things. That you like just, it still had the the throw in shit and all that. But that, that was kind of it. They didn't really... Yeah, it. it wasn't, like, super special or anything. But in this one, they make them more, like... I don't know, primal, I guess. I like that they scream at you and charge at you and shit. Like, they're way more aggressive. I think that's cool. I just like that Joel fucking cut his arm off. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. There's, like, two bloaters back there. It'll be fine. Ah! Oh, there's three of them! <laughs> They didn't show up. There weren't that many bloaters in the first game, was there? I think there was two. No, there's one. Maybe two. three. There's one. The first one you see is at the gymnasium at the high school. Yeah. There's another one when I think you're at the college, and then you like uh, are trying to open up that gate for Ellie and the horse or whatever. There's one down there. Um, there's one that'll show up, I think, in the basement of the hotel when you turn the power on and you have to get the key card and open up the door you remember that mm -hmm. there's one in there that shows up and then i know at the Most end of the two i remember and then there's the two at the ending like in the tunnel before you get to the hospital and like the very it's literally the last encounter with the infected for the rest of the game i think that's all of them Joel, you don't understand, but I get wet for lesbians. That just goes to show how memorable the first game is. Where you can remember all of the encounters. Or at least most of them. Or at least most of them. The first game was very good. Yeah, after completing this one, I would say uh, the story in this game is not quite on the same level as the first one. But like it's 
I still think it's a good story. Like, it's not too far off. I'd really. say it's roughly around the same. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. Maybe you'll you'll see how it is when you finish it, because it, it def- obviously things change when you finish it. But, like, um, I'd say, I mean, it's not, like I said, I don't think it's far off from the first one, really. But I'd say, like, overall, the first, the ge- the story in the first game is a little bit more concise. And again, the pacing just is a little is better in the first one. Mm-hmm. You'll see. We'll see what you what you think once you complete the game. Oh no! Eighteen more bloaters. <laughs> oh, thirty-seven bloaters. Wow! Yeah. Why is it thirty-seven? Why couldn't it be thirty-six? <laughs> my lucky number, though. I know. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh can, my God! There's one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> This is just fucking mauling me. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh shit! Alright, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah. Oh, there's only 22 bloaters. Whoops. Is that Joel? Is that Joel? J for Joel? Is that Joel? Hey, Joel! Is that Joel? Because the only person named Jay can be Joel. Jackson is a wonderful place, but we got tired of hearing the stories of people suffering everywhere else. We wanted to save lives. We had good intentions. <clears throat> but? We didn't make it an hour before running into a horde. Now we're bitten. We've decided we're going to end our lives instead of turning. Please tell our family and friends that we're sorry. Should be. Of Adam and Sydney. This is why you don't go running off. Shutter. I can't take my own life. I'm a fucking coward. Adam. No, no, Cindy. No, Adam wrote it. <laughs> no, no, he said Jesus though. Oh Jesus! <laughs> so, no, no. We can get these bodies back to Jackson. No. After you took me out of the Firefly Hospital. Not this again. You said there were dozens of people like me. Will you just fucking drop it? God damn. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they told me. I've never met another immune person before. Well, there's billions of people and dozens of billions immune. Billions and billions and billions and billions. Yes. Do you believe that? Millions and billions and billions and millions. We traveled. Across the entire country to bring me to the fireflies. Most of the country. I have so many questions for them. Why did you pull me out of there while I was still unconscious? Because I let them run the tests. And when I saw that they were useless, I got us out of there. How do you know they were useless? Maybe if you, you just would have given them more time, they could have figured something out. There was no cure. There's nothing that could help these people or anybody else. I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. But they ain't. They ain't and they aren't. Aren't gonna be. And we need to get these kids back to their families. Oh! Is there something else you'd like to rehash? No. Good. Come on. Yeah, I wonder if he knows he's, like, fucked. But, like... 
I'm know, sure he knows. That, like, she's gonna eventually, like, find out, like, how many times he's gotta fucking, like, tell her the same lie over and over again. Yeah, it's, I mean... It, if she let it go, then he would be fine, but... Yeah. She's not going to. Mm-hmm. So... Well, eventually. It hurts. I don't like it when you do that. Why didn't you tell me? What? <laughs> the... <laughs> it's gotta be the sprinklers running. I don't know why they'd be running at fucking 8 o'clock at night, though. No, you shouldn't put your mouth on that. That's not sanitary. What about this? Anything worthwhile? Uh, actually, yeah. Abby? Uh, no. This girl? No. Her unit was assigned to this hospital. They were collecting supplies or something. This hospital? Yeah. Wait, you're gonna go now? Yeah, we have a lead. Well, I think this next part is the part the, <laughs> where, my, where Ellie's arm got all fucked up on my game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe Tommy does too. Or at least it's, it's in this next section anyway. Yeah, it happened, it happened twice in a row. I fucking did it and then reloaded the game and then it did it again. So I wonder if it's like just a weird glitch drawer. I don't know. Oh, we'll see what if, if it happens with me too. If it does, just play the whole game that way. I will. <laughs> Alright. If I follow Route 5. If I follow Route 5, they should take me to the hospital. And then fuck Abby. Up. <laughs> I, I I don't swing like that for her. The only way I swing is for 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 Dino. Dino. Dino Spinoni. If you don't fuck with Dino, you don't fuck with Ellie. If you fuck Dino, you fuck Ellie. The threesome. I'm sure that's a thing. Gotta get through. That's what Jesse's hoping for. More than like half of this game is just getting to the place that you're trying to go to. <laughs> well, I mean that's the the hero's journey. No, oh, I know. I don't know if Ellie's really a hero, but like. Not really. I don't think this world has heroes. No. Like nobody's a hero. Closest thing you would have come to a hero was the doctor who would have done the procedure. We all know what happened to him. He got his dick shot. Or in other cases, he got a scalpel in the fucking throat. Yeah. But not in my case. No, you. I shoot him. I can't dick. remember. I gotta. I, I, I gotta pull that up and see what. What did, I actually did. Did you shoot him in the dick? I. I feel like I did. I really do. Mm, I'll have to pull that up and have a have a look see. Play play it here. Am I right or am I wrong? Tell me later. Oh. Next you can find out when this episode goes up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just write so in big cool. letters right or wrong. Okay. I'll play the clip and then we'll be like, you know, whatever. I don't know. There it is. I don't, Randy I, I Styles. I feel like maybe... I want to... I feel like you stab him with the scalpel. I do like the melee. I feel like you stabbed him with the scalpel. I don't think you shot him in the dick. But maybe I'm just remembering it incorrectly. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, I might be remembering so, all right, it let's, correctly. All right, so so you, are you going to go on the side of dick, sho yeah, dick shoot? Yeah. And then I'm going to go on the side of scalpel. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. So we'll I do see. have to look that up. Yeah, I see it's in there. I'm only gonna, and we're only going to find out once I edit this. So, yeah. You know, there you go. I won't know tonight, but... You'll know, like, a month from now. <laughs> Maybe. 
I've been uploading an episode a day. Yeah, I see. It's your solo playthrough. My, I've, I've been holding off on our stuff for now. Makes sense. Just because I want to let you kind of... Alchemate to the weather. I'll get deeper into the game, too, you know. But I... My uh, my playthrough... Spoilers, I mean, it, who fucking cares? It's not going to matter. <laughs> my playthrough <laughs> was 53 episodes long. Oh. So which, it took you 53 hours? Mm, no. <laughs> An hour an episode. No, it'd be it a long a, ass game. It was uh, like about a half an hour an episode. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, that's t- t- 20, 25 and a half hours. Twenty six hours. Yeah, in basically. that in that range. Yeah. Not every single episode was a half an hour, but like a majority of them are around that that time mark. Yeah. And I'm assuming that cutscenes are. A part of that time as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a long game. Very That's long. Good. I like it. Well, next time, a chin strap chaps. <clears throat> We're gonna fart until we shit our pants.